Nikes on my feet, keep my cipher complete. Like, 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 the craziest behind back to school and any other sneaker news you could possibly think about. So today is a great job. Today I have my team with me and it's gonna be fun. I want y'all to stay tuned. We're gonna jump right into back to school in September and I know back to school is crazy for parents all over the world. They're looking for white shoes, black shoes, gray shoes. The schools are not letting any of the kids express themselves through tennis shoes. Tennis shoes is what made me fall in love with them because it's called self-expression. And I also feel like if you're going to demand these kids to wear these white or black tennis shoes, you supply the retail stores with what they need. So kids are now wearing shoes, white shoes that's only staying clean about one or two days, and black shoes which are hard to find because it's the summertime. So right now I just don't feel like it's very universal for schools to move this way. Now I do understand parents, we have bullying and all type of things going on, but I also feel like that's what kids start to move their transitions as far as wanting to know who they want to become. And it all starts with sneakers. Sneakers are self-expression. What colors you like, what styles you like. There's so many different kinds and textures out there. And this was, when I was younger, this was my way of getting involved with this type of technologies with tennis shoes and things like that. And that's why I fell in love with them. So my kicks to passion, our main goal is to capture the lifestyles of sneakerheads worldwide. So back to school, make sure your kids do great, don't bully each other, and make sure you keep those shoes clean. Now moving on, we're gonna move right into what is My Kicks to Passion. My Kicks to Passion, we have Sunday mixers, we have the website up, and we have a clothing line coming out. We have so many different diverse things that we're trying to hit on. Right now, we're trying to be a universal startup through Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We started in Baton Rouge because the South was not really known for having sneakerheads or being appreciative, appreciative of the sneaker community. And we really wanted to get involved due to the fact that sneakerheads were starting to become have a negative connotation. So moving forward, we wanted to do positive things in the community like charity events, giving back shoes to tennis shoes, and even hooking up with people like Project Soul and giving shoes back to Africa. So we're really excited about what the future has to hold, and you can find all this information at mykickstopassion.com. <sighs> Well, the best part about this show, what I was most excited about was giving you guys the most updated news on release dates. Yes, I said it, release dates. So now you know what's coming out. So many times I get emails, text messages, calls about, man, if I would've knew this came out or this and that. But right now, this segment right here is gonna be totally for you guys. All the guys and gals that wanna know everything that's coming out, we're about to give it straight to you live and uninterrupted. So that we're in September, we're gonna go ahead and get it kicked off. September 6th, Shaquille O'Neal has been making a big comeback. He's been doing a lot of big things, as you know what I'm saying. And his shoes are back in. Everybody remember Shaquille O'Neal for being in Walmart and not cool and everything. Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal is making a big time comeback because everybody's rocking his shoe. It's real retro. So right now, be on the lookout for that September 6th with Shaquille O'Neal. We also want to update you guys on sneaker conventions that you may want to be involved in. Yes, we're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but we want to we want to touch everyone around us. So big shout out to Lil Rock, Arkansas. They have a lace swap 2013. Make sure you guys go there where you can trade, buy, sell, new, and, and choose ah, whichever you want to go to. So make sure you check out Lil Rock, Arkansas. Big shout out to them doing big things out there. Getting back to the release dates. September 8th. Oh, uh, nah, I'll take that back. Um, September 14th. We have the KD Bamboo. KD Bamboo's man. KD is doing a big thing with his tennis shoe. He's now rocking a low top tennis shoe. And I know what you're gonna say. Basketball, low tops, what is that? Basketball shoes have 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 all different colors and waves now. Low top now, Kobe Bryant plays in the low top shoe. KD is probably gonna be playing it this year. Right now, they're bringing a lot of ankle support technologies at an all-time high. Big shout out to Nike with the bamboo. Love the name. It's like a forest hunter green right there with a nice little tan shoe string. I might rock that right there. I think I got an MKTP shirt that'll look good with that right there. And it's gonna be retailing for 150 bucks. So make sure y'all check that out if you rock it with KD. Uh, moving to a more retro feel, September 20th, a big, big, big. Big, big time uh, retro fan of mine, Penny Hardaway. His shoe is still in the stores. And I found out something very recently that he is very much involved with his release dates and what comes out and everything with Nike. So big shout out to Penny Hardaway. He's going to be coming out with the Penny 5 Volts, uh, all lime green. And right now, we all know it, colorways are everything right now. Volts, limes, that's what everybody wants. So when you walk into a store and you wonder why, why is everything so bright, that's what they rocking right now. So make sure y'all get up the game and my kicks to pass, you're gonna get it here first. And that's uh, gonna be retailing for 165 bucks. You can find that at all your local retailers. So big shout out to Penny Hardaway. September 21st, 
a Retro 5. Retro 5 has been crazy this year. They've been making some crazy colorways. The, the Bel Air edition is supposed to be coming out. A lot of people have been hitting me up. So we want to make sure y'all check out this uh, 3 Lab 5. It's a custom, almost like a zebra print with a little powder blue and black trimming. Uh, looks really dope. Look like that shoe you just wear when you're not even trying to match. You just want to make some turn some heads right there. So make sure y'all check out the Retro 5. That's September 21st. Retailing at 225. So got to get your bread up, man. That is it for uh, the release day portion of my case to patch the closet. <sighs> well, I know the release day portion was very very insightful so we have one more release date that we don't want to forget about we have the nike phone posit thermal map that's a big release coming on uh september 28th at the end of the month a big big time release so make sure y'all be on the lookout to that and that's gonna be retailing for 250 dollars phone posits are making a big time comeback i remember back in the day they used to sit on the shelf and nobody knew what they were and they called them ugly so shout out to nike and 250 dollars make sure y'all go cop that right now we're definitely going to move into the portion of the show where right now i think it's say celebrities play a major role on society and what people wear so of course we wanted to go out with our MKTV cams and see how many celebrities we can catch rocking some of the latest sneakers. And yes, we did catch some of them sleeping around New York and LA with some of the hottest MKTV gear. So right now we're gonna do a couple shout outs right now and we're gonna bring this camera up right now and they're gonna be uh, displaying some of these great celebrities. Right now we have uh, Mark, Mark Wahlberg rocking the Retro 3 Crimsons with his little son like he has on the Spike Lee editions right there holding hands. Make sure to show him a big shout out to him showing the father they love and you still can be cool in your J's. Love the white t-shirt. Probably pay $200 for that. We got LeBron James. Yes, the MVP LeBron James right now rocking his new lifestyle tennis shoe. And that's what I thought was so crazy. Not, not, as, not only are they going to stop at a $250 shoe for playing basketball in, they're going to move it to a lifestyle. So they're saying when you lead a court, you still got to wear LeBron James tennis shoe. So he's rocking his new lifestyle tens right there. And right now LeBron is actually about to have a retro line. Nike has a whole, in, in Oregon, they have a whole section. Just like Jordan now, he has all his numbers lined up. So he's almost retro. So big shout out to LeBron James doing big things. And before you know it, um, they're going to have retro tennis shoes in the store uh, rocking LeBron James. We got Drake, man. Drake with the hot music. Let's move, move it to the R&B hip hop. He's rocking the Retro 3 Dawn Beckhams. And if you, they just released them online only, that's a real, real hot shoe. And big shout out to Nike. That's one of their charity shoes. So basically get a lot of uh, charity kids and less fortunate kids to come together with ideas and concepts. And Nike takes their ideas and make that shoe. So big shout out to Drake in the studio making those hits in his Retro 3s right there. He was uh, he, allowed us, he allowed me in that day to do a couple songs right there. So I was definitely uh, blessed to be there with Drake. Big shouts out. Man, we got... Um, we got a uh, Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy rocking the Army Camel, and uh, right there with the nice car to match. And celebrities are doing that right now. They are doing matching cars and matching shoes. So that just lets you know the lifestyle that these celebrities are playing, and that it is not a game right now. They are really doing it. We got um, Samuel L. Jackson. He's about a hundred right now, but he's still rocking tennis shoes. Big shout out to Samuel L. Jackson in his Shell to Adidas uh, customized right there zebra print. Uh, a lot of people think that it's just Nike dominate, but to do this show, we're going to cover all type of brands from Adidas, New Balance, um, anything you could think of, we're going to cover. And to wrap this thing on up, we have uh, Victor Cruz. Big shout out to Victor Cruz. Uh, he has a big deal with Foot Locker. He's rocking a Retro 3 Fire Reds, and he also has on Instagram Pound Kicksagram, and you can actually win a repost from him and get a lot of followers. So big shout out to Victor Cruz uh, with the Sasa move. Today. <sighs> Thank you guys right there. That was the celebrity portion of the closet right now. Big shout out to all the celebrities rocking high kicks, man. Y'all keep doing it. We're going to stay tuned. We're going to keep the MKTV cameras ready. So right now what we want to do is before you move forward, you have to know where you came from. And right now we're going to always give you guys historical facts and information on, about tennis shoes and where they actually originated from. So I think it's important to know that type of stuff. Like when you was in the kitchen, grandma used to say, you don't know nothing about this. So we're going to give y'all a little knowledge and a little school real, real quick. My kicks the passion style. So right now, um, uh, 1990, May 27, a huge shipment of Nikes, 80,000 pairs of Nikes were lost in the Pacific Ocean on route to South Korea to the United States. So right now they say they have whales and fish just swimming around in Nikes and we have no idea about it. So I bet you guys didn't know that right there. So they took a big hit right there, a big shout out to Nike. As you can always see, they bounced back strong right there. Uh, Jordans are released on Saturday so that kids wouldn't skip school. That's when they changed. They, Jordan said, hey, we gotta get these kids in school. They all was at the malls. So that's how that guy transitioned over. A lot of you might know that because a lot of you probably the kids that were skipping. So big shout out to Jordan and Nike for making that change up. Um, the Adidas Three Shop lo logos were rumored to present three sons of Adidas founders, Adidas Dazzler. So that's some little history for you, lesson if you're a big Adidas fan right there. Uh, Michael Jordan also was signed to Adidas in 1984. Yes, 
I know I broke, broke a lot of you guys. Hard. Jordan was signed to Adidas in 1984. That's before I was born, man. Big shout out there. Uh, not to Nike. He was self-described Adidas nuts. Loved Adidas and told his agent that he would deal would deal close until he signed with them. So um, the only thing is, like I said, I don't think Adidas would give him his own line. So I think that's what made him go over to Nike right there. Nike said that they would give him his own line right there. So big shout out there to Nike uh, beating the competition right there. So right now, man, we're getting close to the end right now at the closet, man. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you enjoyed all the information that's been brought to you right here. So we got a few things I got to cover with you guys to let you guys know what's going on. I know Instagram is a big crave right now, but you got to make sure if you have some hot sneakers and you want to get posted on this show right here, My Kicks the Passion, all you have to do is hit pound MKTP fade, pound MKTP fade. And what that means is your favorite shoe that you're rocking right now, your favorite shoe of the week, your favorite shoe of the month. And right now, you might, if you keep watching the show, it might pop up right here next to my head right here, thanks to my technical guys right here. So make sure y'all hit pound MKTP fade. Also, if you have any questions or call-ins, we're going to be taking call-ins. We want to talk to you guys about questions. If you have any questions about anything that we discussed and you didn't get it or you want more information, make sure that you email us at mykeepspassion uh, at yahoo.com. Um, and also, we're going to have live call-ins right there as well. So that's going to be really cool. You guys can actually call us live and we'll discuss your topics and your questions about tennis shoes, sneakers, what to work out in, what's going on, all that good stuff like that. Um, right now, we also want to talk right now about the shoe of the month. Right now, the new push from Nike and one of my favorite shoes right now, I would say, is the Nike Rocha right here that we have on set right here. The Nike Rocha right now is the new wave. It's only, probably the best thing I can start off with is only 70 bucks. <laughs> I mean, it's, and it's actually one of the most comfortable and lightest shoes out right now. Um, you, as you can tell with the insole, I'll put it out for you guys so you can check it out. It has a really place, has a better insole than most shoes. A lot of cushion and formation for you runners and you walkers out there. So make sure you guys check out the Nike Rocha, a really good thick support system right there. This has actually been custom, custom um, by one of my good friends, Blaine River. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram and Twitter, at old Blaine. Um, so if you want to get him customized or designed, he'll definitely take care of you. Boy, it does some amazing work right here. But the Nike Rocha, definitely my favorite shoe right now. And uh, I think it's the new push right now. So, and like I said, if you guys have a favorite shoe or something that you want to blog or talk about, make sure y'all uh, hit us up on Twitter and Instagram as well. My kids, the passion. <sighs> Before we get out of here, guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to My Kids the Passion the Closet, man. We're going to be here each and every week, so make sure you guys stay tuned in. Before we get out of here, man, I got to let you know how you can find some of this merchandise and product that we have. Right now, I have my My Kicks the Passion bands. Right now, you can wear them on your wrists. You can wear them on your ankles. If you got some kicks and you just want to sit them on top like that, pretty cool, man. You can get them at the website, mykickstopassion.com. Or we have the Sunday Mixes right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana at the Library, 130C West Chime Street. So make sure y'all come check it out if y'all want to get some of the bands. Also, we have a t-shirt line, cardigans, and different things. This is our new logo we're really excited about it we just got them pushing them out so if you guys want to check that out all you have to do is email your sizes and uh, we'll send you over invoice and get that to you right now we're really trying to be the voice of the sneakerhead and the face of the sneaker community so make sure y'all support that if y'all want to get that uh, definitely a lot of people to shout out we just had a really amazing photo shoot um, that we just had. I want to shout out all my models that were there participating for that. Big shout out to Ruckers, a uh, skateboard shop. Make sure you're on Jones Creek. Make sure y'all go check Ronnie over there. He'll get you guys your skateboards and your SBs, anything else you need. Uh, big shout out to TNT Production. Big shout out to True Vision, Win 10 Production, The Rouge Collection. Um, it's just been a great show, man. Like I said, I hope we entertained you guys, gave you some information, and tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody about the closet. Also, the most important thing about the closet, we named it the closet because we're also going to be crashing the homes of sneakerheads around the world. Yes, I said around the world, but we're going to try to stay in Baton Rouge and surrounding areas first. So make sure you email us a, a picture of your collection and how long you've been doing it for in a quick bio, and we'll definitely might just be knocking on your door. So make sure that you email mykickstopassion at yahoo.com so we can come crash your home, and we'll probably bring you up here to talk about your collection or even show your collection to the world right now. So we're going to see how deep does your passion run. So make sure y'all check us out. Subscribe to My Kicks the Passion. It's a lot of stuff, man. This is only the beginning. We want to be the face and center source for your sneaker news. Thank you. I'm Tony T. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Camaro Life 83. Love y'all. Hey, lace them up, lace them up, lace them up, lace them. Blue suede shoes stay crispy like bacon. Nikes on my feet make my cipher complete. Uh, I stay shining like the lights on the street in the night. Revis take me shopping when I'm up in New York. Hit the shoe store, go and cop a few more. You at the mall getting dinner at the food court. I'm in LA eating 22 course. Young boss, bitch, paper in my pockets. I got a closet filled with shoe boxes. Mom said my spending habit, little bit obnoxious.